It's the beginning of May 2012. We've travelled up to the Lockerline Dive Centre to dive the Schooner and the Hispania. This is the Schooner. I have edited the footage so that it corresponds with the Diver Net wreck tour for the Schooner, which I think is number 48. We're starting by dropping down the funnel intake. There's a hole that allows you access to the uh, boiler room area. And you can see it's nice and clear, but uh, previous experience of the Schooner suggests that it can get very silty if you go into places like this. So I thought better of it and returned to the uh, funnel intake. This is a safe or pollock above the ventilation hatch for the engine room. And this is Phil the chef having a ratch around the engine room. I'm just dropping down into the engine room and swinging round to see the top of the triple expansion engine. You can three, see the three cylinders all of different dimensions. And as we swing away from the engine you can see the steel mesh floors and various lengths of pipework. We've come out of the engine room and now we're heading towards the stern over one of the uh, holds. Crossing over a winch now, heading towards the final hold at the rear. I arrived to find that Phil Cornwall and Graham Owen were already in the uh, hold. I must admit that this is the best visibility that I've had on the Schooner. It's normally quite murky. Because the holds are full of coal, you can't really get very far into them. Not like the Breeder or the Hispania. Now we're at the shot line on the stern dropping over the back of the stern and down towards the uh, rudder and propeller which is still in situ. I think I got about uh, 32 meters at this point. We've swum back to the funnel opening and now we're heading towards the uh, front of the ship. We're going over another large winch and then the midship hold. We're about to reach the forward superstructure. As I turn round, this was the original position of the timber wheelhouse, but it rotted away long ago. And if we drop down a deck, we can have a look inside the uh, forward superstructure. This area is often kicked up by previous divers, but fortunately, we were the only dive boat on the wreck.
now making our way towards the bow via the two foremost holds. This is a winch mechanism situated between the holds. And this is the hole at the bow. We were joined by John Brunsden, Andy Heslop, Phil and Graham. And we had a look in the forecastle, but none of us fancied going in, so we uh, went over the top towards the bow. Little ballon rass disappearing. Various dead men's fingers, sea squirts. And now we're at the bow. If I swing round you can briefly see the uh, anchor chains. You can drop down the bow but we didn't want to eat into our uh, dive time on the second dive. 